I can immediately see uh, applications from the research that we're doing. You don't often find an opportunity to work with robots like this. I think it's a future. Hopefully one day we'll, we'll reach to, you know, what's in the sci-fi movies and stuff. When people start interacting with the robot, it doesn't take all that long for people to get used to its appearance. So the purpose of the trainer robot is to allow yourself to be teleported into a remote environment and be able to interact with people in that remote environment as well as things. So the main thing that we're uh, developing Trina for is for telenursing. We've seen tons of examples of nurses being in honestly very dangerous situations that if we had good teleoperated uh, robot capabilities, they wouldn't have to be in. It's a very different presence than you can get from just a video call or a normal phone phone call or like text chat. What you can do is if you have this robot at home or at, at a nursing home, you can have people teleoperate into this. And the best thing about it is this operator who teleoperates in can be from anywhere. The operator interface just requires you to put on a VR headset like you're playing a game. Pretty much everyone we've tested finds the interface relatively intuitive. The XPRIZE has, uh, between the semifinals and the finals, given us a whole new set of challenges to address during the finals competition. All the new hardware that we got for this new robot had to all be integrated together. So I've been writing a lot of uh, driver code, I guess, to glue pieces together and kind of do software infrastructure to make Thing, every, make sure everything's working. They've also asked us to do much more work in terms of haptics. We really need to be able to, to detect texture. And so now you've got a new uh, anthropomorphic hand that's like your own hand, and you can feel things through the robot hand uh, with this kind of haptic glove that we also introduced into our operator system. XPRIZE is definitely not the end. It's, I think it's more like a starting point and where we will keep using this robot to do a lot of amazing research. What's been really exciting to me about working with these students is just how absolutely excited they are to work on a project that has the potential for impact like this. This push that it's given us uh, is going to be carrying us for many, many years to come. And not just our group, but also many other groups across the world.